Hello and welcome back to another tutorial. Today I will be showing you every type of proportional editing and all of its options. So to enable proportional editing, you want to make sure you press the O button or you just click over here. And you want to make sure it's blue. So the first kind, which is smooth, uh, I will be, well, for, uh, just for the sake of this, this tutorial, I will be demonstrating each kind, which there are eight, and I'll be demonstrating how, how they work in each one of these, which I already prepared. So for the first one, which is smooth, it creates a mountainous kind of shape. Uh, a bit spherical I guess you could say but not too much the next option which is the sphere option will create a, uh, a spherical looking shape as you can see the fall off between these two are very different um, the first option has a smoother fall off while the other uh, option which is the sphere option has a more uh, I, I guess you could say l less of a fall off it's like more direct so for the next option which is root this will create actually before I demonstrate root I want to demonstrate the sharp and you'll understand why in just a second so the sharp creates a mountainish kind of shape as the name says sharp it creates a very pointy um, mesh I, yeah. so yeah so for the third option which I skipped I went directly to the fifth which is the root it's going to create something like a mix between the sphere and the sharp so if we if I can get too close yeah over here as you can see it looks like the sphere has the same fall off and everything or all pretty much the same but it's a bit pointy as you can see the next option is kind of a mix between which is in the inverse square it's kind of like a mix between the smooth and the sphere it's like something in between so if you are wondering which one you should use you might as well just use this one as you can see it has a smooth fall off but it has a more spherical shape than the smooth option so for the sixth option which is linear it pretty much just similar to the pointy one but with a bigger fall a bigger um, fall off uh, there's not much more to it really than that it's similar to the sharp but with a different fall off so the next option which is constant just going to grab all of the faces or vertices or whatever or edges uh, in the radius and they're going to move them constantly so as you can see we have this very um, odd ugly shape but it's because we moved all of these faces with this one so as you can see so the last kind the last kind the last option is the random option this is very useful for creating like editing terrains or giving variation to like some rocks or something 
that will just randomly grab uh, vertices and depending on the radius so if I go back depending on the radius it's going to select some vertices or others so that's it for this tutorial I hope you find you found this very useful and thanks for watching